Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be um, starting our industrial craft segment which will um, cover essentially everything we can about industrial craft. Um, today's focus will be basic power generation um, and storage of our basic power. So let's get started. Okay to get started with basic power generation um, we can start with a generator. Generators allow us to create EU from um, burnable fuels such as saplings, wood, coal, charcoal, coal coke, blocks of coal coke, and so on. We'll place one charcoal in here, and as you see, its internal buffer will start to, to go up. Um, to store this energy, we can use things like bat boxes. Um, bat boxes allow us to store um, all the EU um, in a generator or whatever other thing that's um, creating power. We can set this right onto it and it'll start absorbing the power. Um, if this internal buffer filled and it had say like one EU space or more, uh, it would actually consume an entire charcoal and fill up its buffer and eat that entire charcoal until its buffer was filled up. Um, so don't, um, don't like let your charcoal just burn off because it's kind of wasteful. All right, so let's move on to another um, generator. We have our semi-fluid generator, which creates EU from um, liquids such as um, oil, biofuel, ethanol, and so on. Um, it doesn't create um, fuel from like lava or, um, or water or anything. It's just kind of like burnable fuels. All right, so let's um, toss, I don't know, let's toss like seven ethanol cans into here. Its internal buffer will um, fill up with ethanol and then it'll start creating energy. As you can see, we're, we're gaining energy pretty rapidly. So let's, um, I don't know, let's hook a CESU up to it. We'll put it there. All right, now we just use some tin cable, connect it there, and as you see the power is starting to transfer. Um, a thing to note about cables is um, they can only support up a, to a certain amount of EU generation. Um, tin cables support 32, copper is 128, um, gold, we got HV, and then we got our glass fiber cable. Um, each one also has a certain amount of power loss over distance. Um, I know copper is like um, every five blocks, it loses one EU, so keep that in mind. And glass fiber um, has the least amount of power loss, which is 0 0.025 um, per block, I believe. All right, so that's generating power. So I'll transfer into there. Cool. Um, I'll be back in a second, and we'll get started with the rest of the stuff. All right, so let's start on the the water mill. Uh, what this does is it creates energy from water. Um, you can't pump water into it, but if you put water around it, it'll very slowly create a U. All right. So let's set a bat box on top of it. As you can see, we're slowly creating EU. But let's say we wanted to speed this up. Just a little bit. We could take a water bucket and toss it in. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to pump water directly into it. But um, you can set up a system that allows you to um, take buckets, fill them up, and then um, drop them in here and then take the, uh, um, the unfilled buckets out. So if you could figure that out, that would work as well. And this isn't ideal in a ice biome, but hey, um, this is just for demonstration purposes and this is what they gave me. So I'm dealing with it. All right, let's move on to um, our geothermal generator. What this does is it allows us to create um, energy from lava. Um, you can pump lava into this as well as just provide it like you did to the water mill um, by hand. It's really up to you, um, but this is probably one of the more ideal ways to create energy, being that there's an infinite amount of lava in the nether. So you might want to consider that when um, when starting your EU generation. Uh, a large line of um, geothermal generators will fill up your EU pretty quickly. All right, so let's move on to some... Um, um, extremely passive but highly effective forms of generation which is our um, windmill and our solar panels 
for windmills, we're going to want to be up a good distance in the air. Uh, here is good. Um, it's better to be higher, but we'll just do this for demonstration purposes. Then we'll set some tin cable down. Like so. Whoops. And then we can um, reduce the amount of EU or the, um, the EU loss by doing that. And then we'll just put our MFSU in the center. There we go. Oh, oh, no, not facing. You are not facing the right way, sir. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, so let's set windmills on essentially all ends of this. There we go. And um, for, let's see, as you can see, we're generating a decent amount of EU for um, essentially just setting this up and letting it go. Uh, let's, uh, let's add to that. We'll take our solar panels. These create one EU per tick. Um, there are mods that allow you to make better versions of them by combi either combining them or um, adding different, more expensive materials. So it's really up to you. Um, how you choose to do that. All right, so we got all that set up, and we're gaining a decent chunk of EU. So um, this is one way you can set up um, a form of free power. But that pretty much um, wraps up this segment on um, on power generation uh, using basic things. I'll cover in the next episode how to get this power down to there um, with as much minimal loss of power as possible. Oh, we could set a generator there. Yeah, so um, I'll cover that next episode, and I'll see you all later.